we shall now take a look at a sum of series problem which is going to be solved using functions so let's say the series is 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 all the way till 1 by n so if you see the denominator is increasing by 2 and the second part is the sign is flipping between each term it starts with plus goes to minus starts with plus again goes to minus this keeps on repeating till I reach the last point n so in order to solve this particular problem I am going to use a function but we will not go to the function first first we will need to know the value of this denominator n so I am defining an integer variable n I am asking the user to enter the last term of the series so let's say user enters the value of n then I am simply going to show you how in a printf you can print the result by also calling the function at the same time so I have written a function called as series underscore sum with a parameter n which indicates the last denominator to be calculated so what I am going to do is I am going to write this series sum which is going to return a floating point type of value so I am going to say series sum int I am going to let's call this as max so max is the end point of this particular series then I will tell you why I require this particular variable i is 1 then I am going to use another variable let's call it as float sum is equal to 0, 0.0 f f indicates it's a floating point number and as we move along let's see if we require any other variables so for i is equal to 1 all right as long as the value of i is less than or equal to max all right i is not i plus plus i is equal to i plus 2 because every time the denominator is increasing by 2 then here what I am going to do is I am simply going to say sum is sum plus 1.0 upon i the reason I am doing it as 1.0 is i is an integer the result of this series is going to be a real number or a floating point number that's why I have done it like this then if you see I am multiplying it by a variable called as sign or sign is also called as a flag so initially what I am going to do is I am going to say short sign with the initial value 1 since I have to initially add the first term to sum sign will be positive and 1 upon 1 is going to be added to sum next time I am subtracting from sum so what I will do is I will multiply sign by minus 1 so next time to the sum I am subtracting this term 1 upon 3 then sign is minus 1 into minus 1 becomes plus so sum will be added with plus 1 upon 5 because sign has become plus the value of sign which is a flag will keep moving between positive and negative directions so using that logic we are going to calculate the sum once the sum is calculated in the very last step of this particular function I am going to say return sum and then I am going to terminate this particular process so in order to have the signature or the prototype I can simply copy this function and put it at the top here okay this becomes the signature or prototype of this particular function and once I have used the prototype I can give the name of max any variable or I can even say int z doesn't matter or I can even remove this and I just say the parameter is of the type int so what we are going to do here is I am going to pass n to this particular fellow in this particular loop I am going to calculate the sum of this alternating odd number sign switching series and return the sum here so when the sum gets substituted here printf percentage 6.2f is going to print the sum in order to understand the logic of this particular function I would recommend take a look at the description of this particular video there is a link to the algorithm where I have shown you how to find the sum of this above series so let's take this particular fellow now let us copy and paste it into the online GDB compiler and let's see if it compiles all right okay so far so good so let's enter a term as 7 okay so it should somewhere come between 1 and 2 okay so okay sum of the series is 0 0.11 let us see if we have done everything right okay i is 1 okay 
i is 1 so instead of taking 7 let's take a smaller value then we'll be able to judge it properly so i'm going to run it with a very small value of just n being 5 okay so if n is 5 it's easy to calculate okay so n is 5 so what happens is sum is 0 so sum is 0 plus 1 upon 1 is 1 into sign is also 1 so initially sum will be 1 then next time i from 1 ends up becoming 3 okay so when i becomes 3 1 upon 3 is how much 1 upon 3 is 0 0.33 so 0 0.33 what is going to happen i is going to be sum is going to be subtracted so it becomes 0 0.67 then 0 0.67 sign has become now plus 1 since sign has become plus 1 i has become 5 so, okay i'll tell you why we went long in this logic we put accidentally a semicolon after this for loop that's the reason for going wrong that's why we're getting this wrong result so now let's run it for 5 and you will see that the result will be perfect so you're going to get somewhere 0 0.67 0 0.87 should be the correct result okay here it is you get the correct result as 0 0.87 so making logical mistakes typing errors is common just be calm and try to debug those errors once you do a dry run you will invariably catch these kind of errors and errors does not matter how experienced you are errors are going to come up because you may make typing mistakes or whatever it is now what we can do is let's run this for a higher number Let's say I run it for 99. Let's see what happens. So you can see sum of the series is 0 0.78. As I keep increasing the denominator, the series value is going to be smaller and smaller, heading in fact closer to 0. So if I do triple 9, you will see the value sum of the series is almost going to be close to 0. Okay, not 0, sorry, it's going to be close to 0 0.79 because the higher terms do not affect the subtraction at all so what i'm going to do here is try to explain the logic to you by running it for a small value of the term let's say i enter term as just seven okay so let's take a look at this logic i is one float is zero sum is zero sign is one since i is one one is less than or equal to seven sum is zero plus one upon one into one so sum is initially going to be one sign is now one into minus one is minus one i is three so sum is 1. 1 plus 1 upon 3 is 0 0.33 into minus 1. So it becomes 1 minus 0 0.33 sum becomes 0 0.67. Then sine is equal to minus 1 into minus 1 sine becomes plus 1. I has become 5. So 0 0.67 plus 1 upon 5 into 1. 1 upon 5 is 0 0.2. So it becomes 0 0.87. Now i has become 7, 7 is still less than or equal to 7, sum is 0 0.67 plus 1 upon 7 is approximately 0 0.16 or 0 0.17 into sine is minus 1, so 0 0.87 minus 0 0.1615 whatever it is, is going to be the value of sum which happens to be 0 0.7273 and sine has now become plus but doesn't matter, i has become 9. 9 is not less than 7. Here I am doing a return. When I do a return, since the data type is float, this particular series of sum is going to be replaced with 0 0.72. That is the value of sum is going to be replaced here. And when you print that, the sum of the series value is going to be printed.